Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about buffalo grass. The neat thing about buffalo grass for Oklahoma, it's actually native to our state. So buffalo grass can come as a seed or as a sod or plugs. And what I'm standing on right now is a seeded type of buffalo grass. So that means you can go to a, a local farm store or ag supply store, and ask for some buffalo grass seed. You could plant this in your yard. Now here we are in September in Oklahoma. And this year has been one of the wettest on record up through the summer. But now for about, as we film this, for about the past 26 days, we have had no rain. And you can see in the soil here, it's starting to crack. It's really starting to, to uh, dry out. And we have some brown turf grass areas. So the neat thing about buffalo grass is it's very drought resistant. So that means, yeah, it might turn brown when it, when it gets dry for us. But as soon as it rains, it will green right back up. It won't die out on you. So for these seeded type of buffalo grasses, we would actually want to seed them in the summertime. Buffalo grass is a warm season grass, and you can, it does the best if actually you seed it in the late spring, say in May. Now there are times where you can come in later in the year and seed it, but that just means it's going to take all through the whole next year to establish. So if you seeded it, say in early September to mid-September, it would still come up, germinate, but it would take a whole year to establish. So some seeded types are like uh, Cody, Bison, Tex Oka, and uh, you'll see a, maybe a couple of others out there, but for the most part, if you want to buy a seeded type, you can plant it in the spring. It's going to do well for you. This parti these particular plots have not been watered in four years, and as you can see, still have good turf uh, quality and good turf coverage over that four-year period. Now they look a little brown now, but again, they're going to green right up as soon as the rains in the fall or next spring. Now here we have some uh, additional buffalo grass plots and these are actually can only be purchased either as uh, little plugs or uh, sod. And so the two that are here I'm standing on are from the University of Nebraska and they're called Prestige in one plot and then Legacy here in another plot. Now these grasses were developed specifically for buffalo grass as a turf and so these would be what we call an improved selection. And the nice thing about them is they're going to have nice uniform uh, density for you. They're going to have good coverage for you. They're going to be a little bit lower growing. And they're going to have excellent turf quality, turf color for a buffalo grass once it starts to rain and gets irrigation. Again, these plots have received no water, no supplemental irrigation water for four years, only relied on natural rainfall. And here they have very good turf coverage. Now we have a couple of experimentals here that we're also looking at for uh, here at OSU. And then we have another that are commercially available, uh, UC Verde from the University of California and Turfalo from Texas Tech University. Um, another grass I want to point out, which is a, another native warm season grass, is called Blue Grama. And you can see that the Blue Grama is a little bit taller growing grass. It has these uh, little uh, flag cone type looking uh, seed heads on them. But the nice thing about the blue grandma is it uh, establishes a lot quicker than the buffalo grass. Now you can only buy seed for the blue grandma, but once you buy the seed and plant it, it's going to germinate very quickly. Maybe in seven to ten days you're going to have a nice a stand start to germinate. You'll see seedlings in maybe 14 to 21 days. You'll start to get some pretty good coverage. Buffalo grass is a little bit slower. The seed on blue grandma is also a lot finer and easier to plant. You can actually just broadcast it out on the ground, uh, rake it in a little bit with some soil, and it's water it and it's going to germinate for you. The buffalo grass has a lot larger seed and can be a little bit uh, more difficult to get down into the soil so that you ensure good germination. Again, these grasses do the best. If you plant them, wait till next spring to plant them. If you were to plant them in the fall, they will come up and germinate, but it's going to take a long time for them to establish. And what that means is you're leaving open the soil and the canopy for weeds to come in. So you've probably heard that brown is the new green, and so that's what we're talking about with the buffalo grass and the blue grandma. Notice this doesn't have irrigation, hasn't rained, but it's not going to look like a golf course. It's going to turn brown on you. However, if you were to add supplemental irrigation, it would green up and look nice. So please consider a native grass in your home lawn this next spring. <music>
detailing where you can purchase either buffalo grass seed or buffalo grass plugs for your lawn.